Can we get the pass? Good ball! Yes! Come on! We looked at the clock and it was like 25 minutes. And we said, it felt like they'd already been playing for an hour. Have we got big game players? Have we got more big game players, do yes, you think? Yes, we have Arnie Danjuma. We have David Brooks. Great, they can get themselves up for a big game. Or is that, hey, wait a minute, why can't they get themselves up for a normal game? Honestly, I don't care. They miss a massive... I don't understand how he's missed that. I thought he scored, and yet the ball wasn't in the goal. <laughs> Brentford should have had a penalty. Ding caught to Wembley. Okay, the red flag flying <laughs> Right. <laughs> Welcome. Um, you you got you got to uh, sit here. Remember, next to the microphone, so they can hear you. All right. Welcome to um, another video. We're recording this. Not actually, no, not straight after. A few days after our epic victory over Brentford, one nil to the Cherries, and one step closer to Wembley. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a lot of emotional hard work, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It was like, really hard. Do, do, do you think we should show? I think we should show them the reaction to the goal. There's going to be okay. a full. There's going to be a full video of, of all of our reactions to everything. Mm. The play Playoffs, and providing we obviously go to Wembley and win it. Uh, but here is our reaction to Arnold Danjuma's goal. Nice! Come on! Good ball! Yes! Come on! Yes! Run! Yes! Come on! Oh! Oh my god! What a bit! Of course it's gonna be Dan Juma! Of course it's gonna be Dan Juma! Come on! We were saying during the match that it felt like when it, we looked at the clock and it was like 25 minutes and we said it felt like they'd already been playing for an hour. Yeah, it, I, I felt sick during the game. It, yeah. we, 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 it felt like it'd been going on for two or three hours and we saw those 30 minutes to go. Yeah. And our, to be honest, all of the, the period after we scored the goal, pretty much apart from maybe the first five minutes, up till 60, 60 to 90 was horrible. It, yeah, I felt sick. We lost control, really. I think when Pearson went off injured, we lost some of the control we had in midfield. Yeah. It shows how important he is. He's... And obviously Cook going off injured, but Mepham, I put a tweet out, an appreciation post for Chris Mepham, because Mepham. I really... Yeah, Chris Mepham. 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 <laughs> Chris Mepham. Uh, no, Mepham. No, but I don't know. Chris Mepham. That's that, what Chris that, Temple says Mepham. Yeah, it's, it's cry. Yeah, it's cry. <laughs> I, I'm following Chris Temple, what he says. He's, yeah. our, he's our uh, commentator for the games. Mm. Uh, anyway, um, Mepham, or Mepham, or however mm. you want to say it, he, he put in a brilliant performance. I was really happy. Yeah, that was heartwarming. He has been lacking on confidence this season. He's made a few mistakes, and he's been criticised a lot, and I was really, really happy for him put in a good performance yep. and when you oh, I always say if you don't know your centre backs they're probably doing a good job didn't yep. notice him at all no mistakes and he really really did fill uh, Captain Cook's shoes yeah absolutely uh, let's go back to the start of the game okay so we're always saying we don't really know what sort of Bournemouth's going to show up in any game <laughs> yeah that's true and we really hoped that uh, they would start strong and they did actually mm -hmm. yeah good start to the game and one thing I noticed or we talked about was the seven-game run, the seven-game winning run, started after the international break. Uh, uh, yeah, so we were thinking, oh, well, yeah, you're, you're thinking, I just yeah. said it on a podcast and took the credit for it. Oh, I uh, see. Uh, but uh, 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 the, after, well, I think we had the Swansea game and then we had the international break, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Yeah, And then right. we went on that run. So, you know, apply the same... No, it wasn't the Southampton game the last one before. No, I, I checked. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure the Swansea one, then we had the international break. Correct mm. me if I'm wrong. And... So our logic was going to the well, your logic was going to the playoffs. It was a it was a big gap. Mm. Refresh, sort our tactics out. Actually, spend time on the coaching pitch. Actually, yeah. coach them. Everyone gets a rest. Yeah, all of our players are rested and fit and firing to go. Or we we say that, but um, against Stoke, we we should that should have should have been applied, but. We were we were pretty rubbish against Stoke yeah. by the end of the season. And that brings me to my other thing about this squad is that um, and they did talk about this. Uh, have we got big game players? Have we got more big game players? Do you yes, think? Yes, we have Arnie Danjuma. We have David Brooks, who on his day is exceptional, and on his day he, he well 
the, in the game he was exceptional. I, he I was, was like, great. Yeah. He was really, really good. Back to his best, and, pretty much. Yeah, back to his best. And who? Well, we, Steve Cook's a big game player. Mm. Asma Begovic is a big game player. Uh, he's had the experience. Mm. And yeah, well, I, I clearly Dan Juma. Did you already say him? Uh, I did say he's yeah. the first man yeah. I said. And yeah. but is that then? Is that? great they can get themselves up for a big game or is that hey wait a minute why can't they get themselves up for a normal game honestly I don't care at mm. this stage of the season we're in the situation that we are and we need to win the next two games of foot. well we can draw the next game but I'd like us to win it obviously yeah and yeah so what was your to talk about the match because obviously we can talk about the season we talked about that in many other videos yeah. but uh, and if you watch the game on uh, the championship semi-final, Bournemouth versus Brentford, let us know what you thought. And uh, yeah, what was your overall thoughts of the game? I thought it was as close to uh, as well as Bournemouth, that Bournemouth squad can play as you could get. Yeah, um, I agree. Pretty much a slightly nervy start where a few passes went astray. The Brentford from, are a bit nervous as well. A couple they? from Jeff, um, but then really. Not a lot wrong, even though I'm sure we're going to talk about their massive chance. But even that, I don't think anyone made a massive mistake. I saw CCV and uh, Adam Smith were kind of looking at each other. But I don't think anyone was wildly out of position. Of course, Adam Smith got beaten for a head at the back post. All the normal things happened. Uh, we, although but we, we played close to our best stuff. We, we did play very, very well. I don't know how. If you're a Brentford fan, that, to be honest, how we scored the goal, their centre-backs, all the way at mm. right wing, yeah. uh, what's his name, Janssen is his name? Uh, yeah, Pogos po- po- Janssen, yeah. Yeah, uh, and so he was completely out of position for their goal. They miss a massive... I don't understand how he's missed that. So personally. we both had that thing of a few seconds where we weren't speaking, trying to understand what had happened because... I thought he scored, and yet the ball wasn't in the goal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it, it was... I think it was actually harder to miss than score. And, it was one of them, yeah. And yeah, and admittedly, Brentford should have had a penalty. They well, should have had a penalty, in my opinion. And yeah. this, I'm, 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 you know, I'm gonna, I'm, this is obviously not being biased, because I, I, they're, they're, I think if there was VAR... That yeah, would have been, been. I yeah. think that potentially would have been, been given. Been, yeah. it, was, it was a weird one, because is it enough of a mistake? I don't know, but... It, it looks like if the linesman was the other side. Yeah. Um. They they were saying in the match. I know. I thought the linesman was that side. No, I don't think oh, so. Oh right. Um, unless I'm wrong, I might be talking but absolute it, rubbish. Our analysis isn't, isn't always the great. But, but nice. they he was right on the um goal line, wasn't he? Going Adam Smith going away from and the they goal. Just kicked him. And so he it was completely blind to the referee. So you can understand why the referee didn't give it. Yeah. Uh, if it had been say. Um, on the six-yard box going towards the goal, it would have looked really obvious that it was a foul. Yeah, uh, and so we, we got, and I said, we didn't need a little bit of luck to beat yep. them, and we got the luck. We yep. played really, really well, but I, I'm i worried uh, for for the next game because it's going to be yeah. difficult. Brentford's fans, it's not going to be an easy game, that's no, for sure. Not at all. I mean, I did say that I didn't think we could keep a clean sheet in either game. Yeah. And... Um, I'm not really sure how we kept a clean no, sheet. No, we shouldn't have game. kept a clean sheet, really. Mm, mm. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's it's going to be a really difficult game at Brentford. They're going to have their fans in, yeah. and I just think we need to score. I believe we need to score. I need yeah. to, well, we need to score for one, and I think we need to score the first. That goal needs to be the first goal of the game. Personally, oh, it would make such a massive difference. And it really, I would. wouldn't feel as sick throughout the game. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, so and I, I'm. I'm I'm just feeling really good at the moment, and I'll, I'll, I'll come to Saturday, and we'll both feel sick during the game. We'll, we'll yeah. just both be really nervous, um, but yeah, it, pretty much every single player turned up. Um, I wouldn't say Dom had his best game. He yeah, but mm. admittedly, he did. I always say Dom Solanke does a lot of the things that goes unnoticed, yeah. um, and I always appreciate that. Yes, obviously, when we were having that counter, that ball, that ball, he crucial goal, yeah, chance, role in the goal, I should say. Um, but he did, he he did screw up the pass for a, for another potential he did, yeah. uh, chance. But at the end of the day... He did have a good haircut, didn't he? Exactly. We all appreciated mm. Dom Solanke's haircut. Yeah, I think fresh that was, trim. That, that, fresh trim. And yeah, uh, I love Arnold Danjuma. Yeah. Um, he's my he's my favourite player. Arnie's just so, so... He's the best player in the league. I've been saying this for ages. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm uh, Well, yeah, it's my biased opinion. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, on to the next game. What is your score prediction? Uh, I well, 
what I hope for more than anything is the same performance level. Yes, because if they can perform at that level, it'll be just as tight and close. Mm-hmm. And I, I hope... Mm, I have to think that both teams make and take one clear chance. So one all. You think it'll be one all? Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a nil-nil. Ooh. I, I, I think there's... And I think it's going to be a game of a fair amount of chances. And I think they're going to hit the bar. We're going to have mm. sort of a penalty appeal, not go our way. <sighs> yeah. uh, I'm going to go for a nil-nil. Let us know your score predictions in the comments section down below. Let us know, Bournemouth fans, what you thought of the game. Let us, let us know, Brentford fans, what you thought of the game. Swansea Barnsley, also. Swansea won one nil. Uh, yeah, I, w- I watched the second half of that. Uh, let us know what you think if you're a Swansea or Barnsley fan. Mm. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We wanted to keep this video short mm. and sweet. And a reaction, a full reaction video to hopefully us going up will be on the channel relatively soon. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, up the cherries. We're going to go up to the Premier League again. And thanks for watching. Come on, you cherries.